So we are super excited about this, but I want to tell I you're going to have to change hats, Carrie. You told me last week you weren't wearing a hat, but you have to change your hat really quickly. Pretend hat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I want to like introduce Carrie in a different way because Carrie is a broad rock star podcaster. She's on multiple paths. I can't talk this morning. She's on multiple podcasts and produces multiple podcasts. <laughs> and she's an incredible, she's an incredible entrepreneur. But I will say, Carrie, you are a brilliant financial designer. And the fact that you're willing to, well, first, the willing to hang out with me. I love that part. <laughs> but the other part is, I'm really grateful you're here to share some of your wisdom every week with the audience because I'm just going to tell you, Carrie, this this topic today is pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Shall we tell everyone what we're going to speak about today, Kim? Can I tell them what I call you first? Yes. So Carrie is our resident little Aussie bucket of swearing sunshine. And she might be using a bad word today on the show. So warning, <laughs> we're going to say warning. <laughs> Kim, I would like to talk about the B word. <laughs> now, let no, wait, hang on. Now, <laughs> this could be buckle up. That's my sign, buckle up. And that's, and that's the only other word I can think of right now. <laughs> You're just going to have to spill the beans, Carrie, about the oh, word. <laughs> I love spilling the beans, Kim. You know where the coffee comes into the finances for me. But the B word is budget. Da, 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 da. I know. I know. How many people just kind of cringe or just go, oh, or like, oh, my, and run and hide? Like, Can I put yeah. both hands up? <laughs> I was too, Kim. I really was. And and full confession, right now, as of this moment today, I still don't do my budget. I'm very, very fortunate that my husband does the entire budget. So I, but I'm across it. I understand it and I know how to do one, but I have insourced that task and he, he rocks it. He rocks that world so well. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, people. When it's working, don't touch it. Leave it over there. So, But I do want to speak to budgets, mm -hmm. and it is the B word, and it's it's pretty ugly, and it's a little bit frightening, and a lot of people aren't comfortable even to think about it, let alone act on it. Yeah. So I kind of re-engineered it a little bit, Kim, and you you will be familiar with this. Because I don't call it a budget, I call it a control center. Because that's the purpose of a budget is to control your money, not to make you cringe and run away. It's actually for you to be in the driver's seat to take control of your finances and know where the money's going. Actually tell it where you want it to go rather than finding out where it went. So I do like the control center. And it's something that I encourage everyone to actually start thinking about doing for their business. Can I make a confession about the B word, Carrie? Sure. You know, I don't like being told what to do. Uh, us rebels at heart don't like want to be controlled. We're control freaky, as I call it. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about a budget that I've always thought was a budget was to control me. A budget was to to take my freedom away. A budget was to do all of these things. But I have learned from you that a budget is not about controlling me. It's about me controlling my money. That's a big shift for me. That's a big light bulb moment because I, I want to stay a rebel, Carrie, but I don't want to be a broke rebel. <laughs> And Kim, I'm with you. I was the classic child that, you know, was told to go and clean their room. I don't want to. I don't want to clean my room. Like it was that that full, like stomp the foot and have a little tank. I don't want to. And it's the same when it comes to things like a budget for our finances. How many times do you hear it and you just go, mm, I don't want to. Like I, I still, I completely understand that reaction. So 
change it up, rethink it, and rethink it as you're taking control of your finances, put yourself in the driver's seat, and having something as simple as a control center, it's it's just a couple of words like control center versus, versus the word budget, but it just feels so much better. I want to control my money, and I want everyone out there to control their money as well. So I just again, encourage everyone to put themselves in the driver's seat and take control of your beans. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Carrie. Well, thank you for leading us to be our very own financial designers, Gary. And I can't wait for the club Monday night. I know that Ooh. you have the most amazing club. We are going to be I will be there. I'm learning as much as I possibly can from you, but it's a place to ask questions and to get these things. And you have the control center in there to give us to fill out. So mm -hmm. I want to say, I can't wait till Monday night. So thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Thank you, Kim. <laughs>